Uh, hi everybody. Uh, I know it's been a lot, little while since uh, we made a, our last video. We did that on the uh, on that uh, capacitor substitution box, which is pretty cool. And we might be using that, but I really haven't had anything that I don't know felt worthy of uh, making a video. You know that well. You know if you're going to spend your time, which I feel is valuable, and come on. And especially at times to watch something I'm doing, I, I want it to not only be uh, entertaining and interesting, uh, but you know we kind of shoot along like a learning process, educational for all of us, uh, and that way everybody wins. So I was watching this show the other night on on uh, Twit and uh, on the computer, and uh, it's called Ham Nation, and uh, it's where. Uh, if you're an amateur radio operator, ham operator, uh, this show is fantastic. That's what it's about. And uh, if you're interested in it, uh, Google Ham Nation. Go look at some of the, you know, some of the episodes and stuff, and uh, I think you'll really find it good. Uh, so, but I was watching, and uh, Bob Heil of, of Heil. Uh, microphones and, and he's kind of like the host uh, you have Gordon West who's if you're in amateur radio you know that he writes like the best books on uh, taking your test to advance you know, you know as you go along uh, he's been around super guy and then they have George Thomas and uh, George who and he does another show on YouTube if you ever watch it's called Amateur Logic Radio but uh, but he's their smoke and solder guy, and uh, uh, he does some really good stuff. I mean, if you're in the like, you know, doing the lab work, soldering, uh, making projects, uh, you'll love that part of the show. But anyway, okay, enough about Ham Nation. Uh, what we're doing is, George was, he came up with this idea of doing a project that runs for a while. He did like Raspberry Pi. He did some other things where he, they do a couple episodes. Uh, put a project together and, and kind of work on it as they go. Well, one of the things that he wants to do in the near future is build an AM-FM radio kit. Now, uh, Elenco uh, carries this kit, or makes this kit. And uh, you know, I got mine from, uh, what is it, uh, Parts Unlimited. On you know, and you can get them other places though. It's called the AM/FM radio kit. You can see it there. Okay, it's the AM/FM radio kit, and it's an actual AM/FM radio super uh, heterodyne radio that you build. And uh, now, the cool thing about this is, you know, they send you everything. They send you, you get the complete package. Plus, uh, you get this great manual. Now, not only does it just tell you how to put it together, but it gives you uh, labs on, on as you're going. In other words, you do it, it's got like nine sections. You do the AM first and you do the FM. And it tells you, you know, how to do the construction, gives you the parts. You, you mark the parts off like you would on any kit as you go and you put that section together. Okay, well, after you're done with the assembly, instructions and you have that together then it goes into the testing phase and the f first one you do you, you take your static measurements and you know if you're going to be doing some of these you should at least have a volt ohm meter you know probably a digital uh, I have I have several both have several digital and have several analogs because I you know you got to have them and it's it'd be advisable to have a signal generator of some sort and you know and if you're going to be doing this in a oscilloscope you can get them relatively cheap I've got I got two of them one's a single trace one's a dual trace uh, and I got them cheap on eBay you can get them other places than that but if you're going to be doing this stuff eventually down the road you, you're going to want some kind of oscilloscope so you can do testing see when you're experimenting you you want to be able to see that wave especially if you're messing with radio and uh, uh, you know, uh, transmitters, uh, uh, oscillators, anything, you, you want to scope. And it gives you the test to run. You know, it shows you, 
you know, okay, do this here, put this, and it has test points that they put in there for this. While you're building the radio, you put the test points in, and it goes along, and you'll do dynamic measurements where, you know, you put the signal in, and then they've got more, uh, you, check, you check out bandwidth on what, at the part you're at and all the stuff. You put your hook up your scope. And you, so you can do all these tests as you go along each section. Like here, and then they give you like a little test, okay, what's going on? Did you understand what's happening? Because they're, they're explaining the whole thing while you're doing it. Then they, you, you can take a little test if you want, you know. It isn't like you have to. It doesn't come with a teacher that, you know, goes, oh, you better do this now and you before you do anything else. No. You know, if you want to take the test, it's, you know, you become your own teacher. So, but anyway, uh, and then, you know, and if you don't have all the equipment, you just want to, you want, man, I want to put a radio together and understand how a radio works. Uh, and which is what this is going to help you learn. Uh, you don't, <laughs> there's tests you can do, simple tests you can do, you, you know. You should have a, a fairly good voltmeter, you know. If you're going to buy a kit, buy a couple kits, at least spend like 20 to 50 bucks and get a voltmeter if nothing else. So you can do those tests. And you know, and it tells you if you don't have this, jump to the next one. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's my idea. I was thinking, how cool would this be to uh, build this kit and test, you know, and, 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 and make a video as, as we go. Uh, you know, in the assembly part, most everybody knows how to solder, and if you don't, Man, there was like just a ton of really good videos. You, you know, Google it here or, or just put it in the search on, on YouTube here. There's so many different guys that show you all the great techniques. What kind of solder to use, what kind of irons to use. Uh, do you, do you want to have an iron? Do you want to have like a little station? You know, how, how far do you want to get into it? So, either way. Uh, you, you know, you need at least, <laughs> you know, you, you should know how to solder. And, uh, and, and if you don't, you might not really want to start on the kit, I guess. You might want to start on some more of the simple kits. But uh, for those of us who've been soldering a while, uh, like radios, understand them, know what's going on in there. I mean, you know how a radio works. You know how the uh, signals come in, they get changed to the IF, and go runs through, and then they get de demodulized, and then goes back to audio, and you got a radio. You know, and transmitters kind of reverse. But... <coughs> You know, it's one thing to understand how it works and that maybe build a little, you know, we did the crystal radio. So, I mean, we, you know, we got to actually make uh, a radio from from scratch parts and stuff. But this is a regular AM, FM. And, you know, you have all the filters. You have, you know, the IF cans. You know, how, you know, how are those IF cans really working? How do we really adjust those to really get that, you know, dial in, uh, so we get that perfect 455 or, or the uh, 108, whatever, you know, AM, FM, whatever you do. And how do you get that in there so it goes to the next section and gets amplified even more and you keep it smooth and you don't have all this junk come in? How does the automatic gain work? Um, all this stuff, what we, that's what we're going to cover in this. So I thought, you know what, <laughs> it wasn't that expensive. Uh, uh, with shipping, I think, it was like 30 bucks with shipping was like $50. Uh, well, you know, for a nice AM FM radio, uh, 50 bucks is, uh, that seems reasonable, you know. And then you, plus you get like hundreds of dollars worth of education out of it. Um, so I thought, you know, okay, I'm going to get this. And um, now here's, <coughs> here's another part of this that, you know, I don't know, you know, times are hard right now. I mean, I had... I had to kind of squeak out that 50 bucks to get this, but you know, but I thought it was worth it. Now they do have other kits that are just like AM kits, uh, and it's almost along the same lines. It looks the same, has that, you know, only it's just the AM part. And I think they've got just the FM. Uh, so you can get that too. You know, you know, and I think they're cheaper, I think like 29 bucks or something. So if you don't want to spend the whole much and you still want to build a radio, hey, I want to learn this. That'd be a cool thing to do, and you can, you know, nice thing about tapes is, like, you can always play them back. You know, I didn't get that part. How would that work? Let me go back and look at that again. Or, you know, well, I can't do this right now. I started it two months later. 
you know, I'd kind of like to do the radio again. Hey, the videos are still up, okay? Go, you know, start uh, where you left off. So, I thought this would be fun. And uh, I thought it'd be educational for, you know, for all of us. And uh, I think sometimes when you watch these guys, like all these great people out there that, you know, show us the videos on restoring radios and, and building stuff and, I mean, there's just so much knowledge. It's insane. Uh, you know, when I was a when I was a young guy, the best you could do is uh, go to the library and take out what you could. Maybe find magazines, and uh, there, the information really wasn't there. I mean, if you wasn't like a super brain and could pick up on it, you were in trouble. You know, or or if you had a good elm or a good person to really show you how to do this stuff, uh, it, it's just a tough way to go. So. You know, we're really blessed uh, to have what we have. So, you know, for right now, you, it might be fun just to go along, take notes. I don't want to build nothing right now, but I sure like to see how it's going. You know, maybe I'll get something out of that. That's perfect. <laughs> and then down the road, maybe I'll build a radio. Hey, those videos, you know, you know you can, we can go there. So, uh, either way, I thought it'd be fun. And uh, now I've got some, uh, I'm not, oh, I'm not even going to show you. I, I got a big mess here, though. You know, I'm at my bench right now, and I got, you know, some things I'm working on, and I got this, and I got that, and I really need to clean it up, and that's what, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up my uh, signal generator. I want to set up everything that I need for this project, and kind of try to keep it in a clean space, and then if I have something else come up, maybe I'll move that to another area. And work on it there instead of, you know, just keep this area for the radio. Uh, e easier said than done, I guess. But, uh, okay, so it's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get going on this. And uh, I'm going to start getting it set up. And I'm gonna, I'm not going to go weeks and weeks and, that and go, okay, I'm back now. I want to get on this right away and, and get it rolling. Because, uh, you know, you got to... You know, I, and I'm, I'm bad at that sometimes. Sometimes I, I'm not feeling too good, and then next thing you know, I'm putting things off, and then pretty soon uh, the interest kind of dies down a little bit. You, you know, if you're doing a project like this, you gotta you got to nail and go through it. You know, you, you know, we're not going to rush anything. You know, that's the best way to screw things up. Uh, so we're not going to rush it. But take our time and, 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 and really check each area out. And keep it rolling, though. That's the whole thing, is to keep it rolling, you know. Uh, will it be one a week or two a week? or I, I don't know. Uh, I have to do the first couple ones to kind of get the feel of it. And then we'll go from there. But it's not going to be like do one in the way a month. I, you know, I don't want to do that. It doesn't work. Okay. So, okay. Alenko. And you know, I think it's at, you can get them on Amazon. Uh, like I said, uh, Parts Unlimited, there's several places that you can get them. Uh, just, you know, like the old thing, you know, the AM, FM radio kit. And it's the model AM, FM, 108, CK, Super Hat radio, you know. Uh, and this is the one that contains the two separate audio systems. And this one has an... an uh, I see uh, audio amplifier at the beginning, and then you also do a transistor uh, one just to understand how they both work, which is pretty cool. So you end up with an extra uh, an extra board that you can either pull the IC out and plug the board in, and you're running off of transistors, or you can just you know run off of the uh, uh, the chip, which is a 386. So. Uh, that's like a little deal inside a deal, so that's pretty cool too. And uh, <clears throat> so anyway, that's what I had for now, and I'm I'm really excited about this, and I hope that you join me. And you know, I, I want to say thank you uh, to all the people that's been subscribed to me for a, for quite a while. And I know that you know, there's times I haven't put things out like I really should have, and that, and you still stayed there. And thank you so much for that. Uh, for the new people people that have signed up. Uh, it's been slow getting started. I want to thank you for uh, for joining, 
And I hope that it'll be things like this that's going to it'll make it worth your while to say, hey, you know, I just got a video. Let me check it out, and uh, take a couple of time, a couple minutes of your time to actually watch. You know, like I said before, I, I believe that your time is, is is important and it's valuable. So when I put something out here, I, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm giving you the best that I can. Uh, thanks. And I, it's not going to be long, and you're going to see when these pop up and this radio is going to get started. Uh, until then, uh, God bless you, and uh, see you real soon.